sweet little basket there. This is such a fun shop if you are, especially if you are looking for things to decorate a porch. There's always, always an amazing little collection of so many items that are just perfect for that addition of a prim look. Look at that woven rug there. There's a container from a, um, like a cider press. Some neat old rusty scales. Just all kinds of wonderful things here for adding that little prim touch. There's an old bucket from a ice cream maker. Words aren't quite coming to me this morning. It's a little nail keg. Some crocks and some wooden cutting boards. Eat a little crock jug too, brown, brown jug. So we'll just keep on going here, we'll keep walking on over to this barn. So the shop is called The Cluttered Coop. And there are lots of little accents and accessories about chickens and, and this room here is just, this is just a, just an old barn shed that has been decked out and filled with all kinds of prim accent pieces. You know, the old grungy pillows and really neat large barrel there in the corner. And then it looks like these must be some sort of drying rack that have been used on the back wall there as an accent. Just, you know, just the perfect place to pick up those pieces that you're looking for for accenting a porch. There's a couple more barrels, some carriers there that are sweet, filled with a, a clay pot. There are loads of sap bucket lids there as well, a whole stack, sort of a Jenga of those. There's an old barn vent. So the little building here with the tin roof, that's the room or the uh, shed or building that you pay in. Look at those neat shutter pieces. Awesome, beside your doors, next to a, accent, a window that you want to accent. And I just love this basket here hanging on the on this little maybe an old chicken coop here. And you see that filled with maybe a planter or some artificial flowers. Again, maybe something like that geranium that I found at uh, Meander Hill. Early books and old clothes pins. Love that piece for next to the or hanging off the edge of the bathtub. And there's another one. Just all kinds of fun, super prim accent pieces. If you want to go back and look at one of the early, earlier videos that I did here was at Christmas time for their Christmas open house and we actually did a tour inside the shop owner's home so make sure you check that one out too. That's really cute. There is a little washboard turned into a mirror. Some quilt pieces, quilt top pieces. So this is located at 133 
Fulton in Worcester, Ohio. Oh, look at the whole stack of the funnels. There we go. Have you shopped in one of these before? That is what is just so much fun about hunting for prim pieces here at the cluttered coop. Because you're inside of these just just really sweet buildings and that have been repurposed for this shop. There's a nice little cubby here on the wall in that in that white. That's wood and metal. There's a chicken feeder there. Some orange garden tools. A little shovel. This is a neat little basket there with the screen. I could see that with a potted potted flower in it for the springtime and then switch it out for the summer. Lots of early jars. Those are Atlas Mason jars. Those are interesting. Some old license plates feed sacks and the, everything is just so layered one on top of another on top of another so you've got to look up look on the back side of the doors as well this cute little cupboard neat little old tin from Orville Ohio Pure kettle rendered lard. So she is open on uh, particular weekends during the year, and this was opening weekend. I'm here later in the day. There were lots and lots of customers here earlier in the day. So lots of things have left, but I wanted to do the video and not have to worry about interfering with all the fun shopping happening so this is later in the day on Saturday the shop is also open tomorrow Sunday April 30th so if you see something that you just love and can't live without you definitely want to make the trek over they do not ship so this is local local shopping local purchase and we'll go make sure we go inside to the main shop as well. I think there was something else I wanted to show you that that I missed. So let's head over there as well. So this is what you see when you arrive. These neat repurposed buildings here. It's really it's more than just shopping for prims. It's sort of a shopping experience here with these. Just that neat early country feeling. All right, well, let's head back over to this one shed over here because there was something that I wanted to show you. Look how neat that is with that old trough, trough filled with the plants. Another one here. So neat. Chicken bell, rooster rather outside here. Lots of the red clay. If you want to plant herbs like mints that are very, very evasive, invasive, those are always really good to bury far down into the ground so that the roots can't continue and spread. So 
So you are in that one. And over here. You know the bed was my accent here that I wanted to show you in this little neat little room. But here is a whole stack of sieves. Whole stack in graduating sizes. Neat set of sifters. Beautiful. That is a large scale. There's a drying, a corn dryer in the corner there. Check these out here in the corner. Those are really charming. Fence pickets. Love those. Might have to might have to dig a little deeper there. There's another one right there. All right, let's head over on into the main building. Right here. Her home is over there, and if you watch that other video, you'll see. of a world where chickens can cross the road without having their motives questioned. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, nice table. Wow. Love that. Nice big drawer. the wear there on that side. I wonder if there's a drawer also on the other side. Nope. That is a pretty, pretty prim table. There's some yellowware pieces. Neat little cupboard there with the early white paint over, looks like a red. Got some feed sacks. Just so many fun, fun little accent pieces. It's a corn dryer. And that looks, yeah, that must be, that's a face of an old clock. That is, that's really charming. There's a small piece for an animal, a working animal at some point. Love the tin roof. I bet this is amazing in the rain. Here's a little, probably a little redware crock, a little brown crock, and it's been painted in a salmon color. Well, that makes me curious what might be underneath that. Looks like it's in good shape. And then a wonderful bee sting, number three. So three gallon jug there, the handle is there. There's the pantry box with the handle and some wooden bowls. Love it. Austin Purina, an early advertising piece. There's a crock that would have been used as a canner. That's in really nice shape too. stoneware piece. Hmm. I think that is going to have to come home with me. All right.
So yeah, if you're in the area, the fun thing is this is also open on on Sunday, on April 30th. So if you're in the area, check it out. Let me know if you've been here. Comment, comment below if you've had a chance to shop at the Cluttered Coop. What's so fun here is that it changes. The, the new items that are in change so often and they do have a uh, they do have a Facebook page so if you were interested in kind of keeping track of what new items are coming for the next sale you can definitely definitely check that out all right so take care everybody I am putting together a video for how to do some easy no so quick accent curtain pieces. So make sure you keep watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit like. That's always wonderful. And comment below when you have a moment. All right. Best thing you can do for us for our channel is share. Share it to your social media pages and that tells YouTube that we have something that you are enjoying. Take care everybody and we'll see you in the next one. Well, if your place is called the cluttered coop, you've got to have chickens, right? Oh, have fun. Hi. We need chickens at the farm. Oh, they're just beautiful. Love it. Love how they just wander. Wander free. Not sure we'll be able to do that with our flower farm, though. As soon as I plant things, I suspect that they will dig them all right back up again but we'll see maybe for part of the year all right take care everybody some more fun porch and prim garden accents look at that oh my goodness how cool is that and then the the trough and the the water pump, the well pump. Love it. Okay. Hope you check out this really fun fun shop called the Cluttered Coop here in Ohio, 133 Fulton Road in Worcester, Ohio.